So in this video, we're going to take a look at the resort centre of Calas de Mallorca. We're going to see what's here. We're going to have a look at some restaurants, see what bars are around here, and see whether this looks like a good option for you for your holiday. Now you're going to find signs all over Calas de Mallorca pointing towards the tourist information office, which is right behind me. This is open from between 9am and 3pm on Monday to Friday. To my right hand side, we have a taxi rank as well. So if you're looking at travelling anywhere else, up and down the coast and you do not have a hire car or you don't want to get the bus well you can grab a taxi from here too but there's a fantastic bus service and you may well have seen my videos about taking the bus over here in Mallorca the main buses do come on up through the resort centre too Okay, so just to give you some taxi information here from the Calas de Mallorca. During the day to get to the airport, you can get a taxi over for 75 euros. At night, it's going to cost you 86. But you can also go exploring as well around the area. If you want to head on up to Calabona, it's going to cost you 33 euros during the day. Porto Cristo is going to be 20 euros in a taxi. If you want to go all the way up to Alcudia, it's going to be 68. Now, don't forget, I do have a guide on my website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com to using the taxis over here in Mallorca. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. So we're going to see the sign here, which points in the direction of Domingos, Gran Domingos Beach, which is in this direction here. But we're going to have a look just around the centre here and just have a look at what restaurants, bars and shops there are if you're coming over here on holiday. So right in front of the tourist information, you can see the Hotel Samoa and the Hotel America, which are Globales hotels. I've got the Samoa right in front of me here. You can see the Americas right in the distance. And that's that huge hotel that you can see right on the back of Calo Domingos Beach. But look, we've got a little bit, a bit of a, a shopping centre down here as well. Got a few shops. Let's go down and check them out. So I'm just coming down past the Samoa Hotel here. You can see its location to the centre of Calas de Mallorca. It's situated right in front of quite a few shops, a few restaurants as well. You can rent cars down here too. We've also got like a little kid's uh, go-karting track. Let's just start our walk just from the end here. Now you can see we're around the back of the Hotel Globales America Hotel, which is right on the corner of Domingos Beach. And look, we've got a little shopping centre here. Let's go and have a quick look inside. Now, I can imagine this whole area comes alive on the evenings. You can see they've got a, a nice little games area here too. You can see some air hockey. Quite a few bars as well. Look at this, you can get a, a frozen glass pint for €3.30. There's also doctors to my right hand side. We've got another little arcade here which you don't often see over in Mallorca, but somewhere else with some air hockey games and some, uh, and some games machines too. Got another little bar on the corner too, which is the Cuban Cafe. Looking to my left. I've got more bars and restaurants as well. Now, of course, I'm filming this in the middle of the day. I can see a pool table right across the way from me, but plenty of uh, tables and chairs. So while it is empty now, I anticipate that it will be a lot busier much later on. In the summer as well, I can imagine this gets very busy too. You've got plenty of little kids, like mini fairground rides around here too. And quite a few pool tables as well. Also, if you're looking for something to do over here in Calas de Mallorca, I see a dive centre. Let's go and have a quick look. Now, they do try dive packages over here as well, which looks fantastic. And the try dive is just 85 euros. Now, that is fantastic value for money. You don't need any previous scuba diving experience, but you can give it a go and see if you enjoy it. You'll also find a pharmacy here too. That does tend to shut at lunch times though, just to let you know. And as we come out of the shopping centre, I'm right outside El Pariso Latino Bar, which has got music pumping out. A few people sitting in there, just coming out of the heat of the day and enjoying a little bit of lunch too. So let's go and check out the rest of the resort centre. If you are looking at changing some money as well as we're going into the resort centre, you can see almost actually there's a pound to euro parity. 
just the outside this rental car place with the red bike on the roof. I think they sell various tools as well. Got another selection of ice cream shops as well and restaurants as we come on into Callas de Mallorca. Slightly cheaper cocktail prices down here on this side of the island. Six euros ninety for a mojito, which is pretty good value. I can see there are plenty more shops here as you go through this little arcade area. Let's go back up to the main street. Now, what looks like to be another really popular pub over here is the Traveller's Inn. We've got a huge TV screen in there as well. So if you want to watch some live sports, then that might be something that you could check out. They also do English breakfast here too. There are no prices on the board, but um, this may could be a good option for you. We're coming up past as well. We've got a pizza restaurant with a wood fire oven, which looks fantastic. Plus, I can see an ice cream shop in just inside this area too. Now, I'm quite surprised to see this many restaurants and bars down here because, well, while I appreciate there are lots of all-inclusive hotels over here, it's good to see that there's some choice as well for anyone who's maybe staying in self-catering accommodation or just going half bored. Or actually, if you just want to get out of your hotel for an evening and go for some decent food too. Well, check this out. If this isn't good value, I don't know what is. You can get a pizza and a drink for seven euros here. And this is right outside the original Italian street food made in Italy restaurant. So we're coming along the main road here, which if you go right to the end of this road and take a right, you're going to find the Alua Callas de Mallorca Hotel. But this is the location of where well, you're going to find even more bars and restaurants. You are also going to find a bus stop here right in the centre of the town and these buses do come along here frequently. Now for anyone who used to come to Callas de Mallorca years ago, you may not recognise this area right in the centre, it is new and according to the subscribers that I met earlier on today, this didn't exist just last year. So we have a mini golf and farm area. If you're here with kids, then this could be the perfect, perfect evening thing to do. We'll go and check it out. But in the meantime, let's just take a quick look at what we have in front of us. We've got the Venethia restaurant, steakhouse and pizzeria. Now, the holiday makers that I met in the resort did say that this was a fantastic place to eat. Let's go and take a quick look at the menu. Okay, so just looking at the menu here, we've got um, burgers, luxury premium burgers from 13 euros, and a lot less actually. The burgers do go down to 9 euros 50. You can get a meat dish here for around 12 euros, a grilled dish. Look, grilled, grilled chicken is just 11 euros 50. And homemade pizzas here, doing the pizza margarita test, nine euros 50. So again, really, really good value. Now, what do I have to my right hand side? I can see Sinatra's, which is a karaoke bar and night spot. So if you are looking for a little bit more nightlife down here, then this may well be the place to go. I'm pretty sure all the hotels are gonna have entertainment, but of course that's gonna finish a little bit earlier on in the night. But does this open? I don't think it does. It looks pretty closed down, actually. Let me know in comments below if you have seen Sinatra's open at all this summer. But to my right-hand side, I see a very nice-looking Indian restaurant, which does also Indonesian and Thai food too. I've got another bar as well to my left-hand side. I've got TV. They've got a the TV on the wall too, and they do show the football. So that might also be worth knowing. But also in front of me, I can see that they've got a uh, pop-up pizza and burger caravan too, which must open in the evenings. They've also got more, another bigger kids area in front of me too, and pool tables also. And also for kids as well, look at the new inn. You can come and play some crazy golf and then come and look at the little animal farm that they do have down here. Let's kind of have a quick look at the end. I can see some animals. 
Now, this is very unusual. I've never seen a crazy golf course as well with an added animal farm, but this is what you do get over in the Callas de Mallorca. But this is a great place to come for families. Look, you've got more little fairground rides here too. So you can imagine on a, on a hot summer's evening how busy this will become. Families over for their summer holidays. But what a great space and what a nice touch as well to have the mini golf and the farm too. That is not all because just around the back here of the crazy golf course you've got a mega store supermarket now it's no Mercadona or Yoroski but it is somewhere else where you can go and pick up some supplies and pick up some snacks as well if you're down here okay so I'm just heading out now from Callas de Mallorca Centre Okay, but if you do want to go to a bigger supermarket, then, well, there's an Aldi over in Cala Milor, and there's also a little over in Felanich as well, which uh, th both of these places are a short drive from here. Don't forget too, if you want to visit a market, then you can visit the Porto Cristo market on the Sunday. You can also visit the Felanich market on the Sunday as well, and you'll find the Manacor market taking place on the Monday. And once again, if you don't have a hire car, well, you can take the pub public buses to go and visit those market days. Okay everyone, I hope this quick look around Callas de Mallorca Tourism Centre was useful for you if you are coming here on holiday. You're going to see there are plenty of bars and restaurants and also it's, they've got a nice few little things to do for kids as well. There are plenty of pool tables, there's plenty of well inexpensive beer as well and I reckon over the summer months you're going to find a great atmosphere as well. Of course this resort centre is going to be a lot quieter than you're going to find maybe in Palma Nova or Magaluf for example but this is the reason why so many people come here. So if you want to find out more about Callas de Mallorca, then do head on over to my website on mallorcaunderthesun.com. Do go ahead and check out some more information I have about the Callas de Mallorca there. Also check out these videos appearing here on YouTube for more information about this amazing area too. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.